Today's topics are BUN and creatinine. Blood urea nitrogen, or BUN, is the amount of urea in the blood. But where does this urea come from? The human body requires 20 amino acids, and they all have a nitrogen-carbon-carbon backbone. The nitrogen group, or amino group, can be removed from the amino acid in a process called deamination, which primarily occurs in the liver. The deamination also yields a leftover two carbon molecule that can be either recycled or broken down further by entering the Krebs cycle and oxidized to make ATP. The removed amino group is ammonia, or NH3, and is toxic to the body. So enzymes in the liver add a carbon dioxide molecule onto it to form the much less toxic urea in a process known as the urea cycle. Urea can then be excreted out of the body by the kidneys. The level of urea in the blood is the BUN, and its normal range is 8 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Phosphocreatine is a creatine molecule with, a, with an attached phosphate group that is stored inside muscle cells and the brain. Phosphocreatine can be acted upon by the enzyme creatine kinase that quickly removes the phosphate from phosphocreatine and adds it to ADP to make ATP under anaerobic conditions. This reaction also yields creatine. Alternatively, when there is excess ATP, creatine kinase can remove a phosphate from ATP and convert creatine to phosphocreatine. Each day, roughly 1% of creatine and 2.5% of phosphocreatine break down into creatinine, which is constantly released from muscle cells to enter the blood. Creatinine levels vary according to an individual's muscle mass. Average females have a value of less than one. Males normally have levels of one or higher, depending on relative muscle mass. Urea and creatinine are handled by the kidney in different ways. Urea is filtered and reabsorbed, while creatinine is filtered and secreted. What kinds of circumstances cause the urea and creatinine to rise in the blood? Acute kidney injury, or AKI, and chronic kidney disease, or CKD, can cause both BUN and serum creatinine to rise. Both urea and creatinine are freely filtered by the kidney, so with AKI, where the kidney is not filtering as much and is experiencing a low glomerular filtration rate, less urea and creatinine will be excreted. With CKD, there are fewer nephrons to filter the urea and creatinine out of the blood. Because of this, both urea and creatinine levels will go up in the blood. Remember that urea comes from the breakdown of proteins. So anything that increases protein breakdown will also increase BUN. Exogenous corticosteroid administration can cause protein wasting, and elevated corticosteroid levels with conditions like Cushing syndrome will lead to more protein breakdown. A diet high in protein can increase BUN. Two drugs, cimetidine and trimethoprim, can increase serum levels of creatinine. Cimetidine is an H2 blocker used to treat heartburn, and trimethoprim is an antibiotic. Remember that creatinine is both filtered and secreted by the nephron. Both cimetidine and trimethoprim act to reduce creatinine tubular secretion and therefore increase serum creatinine levels. What kinds of circumstances cause BUN and creatinine to drop? With liver failure, urea is not being produced by the liver and ammonia levels will rise which can lead to damage to the brain, called hepatic encephalopathy. Serum creatinine is decreased in individuals with low muscle mass, like this individual. Here's an animated summary now of how BUN and creatinine are produced. Remember that BUN is urea in the blood and comes from converting ammonia to urea in the liver. The ammonia comes from breakdown of amino acids. 
Creatinine comes from the breakdown of creatine and phosphocreatine in muscle cells. Remember that muscle cells use phosphocreatine to quickly make ATP under anaerobic conditions. Thanks for watching.